You're probably sitting around and wondering how to get a personal loan with no credit check. Guess what? Today is your lucky day because I'm going to explain everything to you in a clear and methodical way. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you are to ask me. If you are doing as superb as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. In today's combo, we are going to go step by step. I'm going to show you step by step how to get a personal loan with no credit check. First thing first, if you have a poor credit score or no credit history at all, you might think that getting a personal loan is out of the question. The good news is that there are options. There are There is a constellation of options out there for you to get a loan that doesn't require a credit check. And uh, getting a personal loan without a credit check may not be easy though, but here there are a few ways to get it done. The first step is you got to figure out if applying for a loan that doesn't require a credit check is your only option. Do you have other options? Because these types of loans often have certain pitfalls and we'll go into, into details later on, like you might have like higher interest rates or stricter terms and they're not typically recommended for someone who would qualify for a more conventional loan. So you also want to check your credit score just to make sure that it is uh, it is where it, is, it should be. All right. So step number one, if you want to get a personal loan with no credit check, check. You need to know your credit score. Many people have no idea of their credit scores, according to uh, the SBA the Small Business Administration, whether they're business owners or regular or regular, you know, just regular uh, citizens. And even Experian has done research that shows that a lot of uh, about 75 percent of people have no idea or they have no idea of uh, what constitutes their credit score. So most people with little or no credit history have what's considered a thin credit file, meaning their credit history contains only a few, if any, credit accounts. And people with thin files often have a hard time obtaining new credit as their lack of credit history makes it very difficult for lenders to access their risk. So when you have a, whether you have a thin credit file or just bad credit or just, or, you know, no credit, you need to understand exactly what's in your credit report before applying for a loan. So you know where you stand when talking to lenders and you might check your credit and find that you actually have a, a score that allows you to apply for a regular, a regular personal loan with better interest rates and terms, which will save you money over time most lenders use your fico score which ranges from 300 to 850 when considering you for a new loan so within that range scores of 670 669 or below are considered fair and poor while uh, scores of 670 and above are considered good and excellent depending on where they fall so if your fico score doesn't fall into the good to excellent range it might be a great idea to find a lender that will not require a credit check for your loan. And the good the good thing here is that you got to go to a website called annualcreditreport.com and there you can actually download a free copy of your credit report once a year. That's the law. So step number one, you need to know your credit score. Step number two, I want you to approach a bank or lender directly. It's all about creating the having a relationship it's all about establishing the relationship approaching a bank or lender directly might be a great option if you have little to no credit or poor credit scores and want to use other financial indicators like employment or income to prove your credit worthiness the cool thing here is that um, if you approach a bank or lender directly especially if it's a local one you want to approach your bank a local bank or even a credit union they can use alternative data personal information not included in your credit report to establish whether you pose a risk as a new borrower. And by doing this, those lenders will get uh, what we call a holistic, all right, a more total understanding of your uh, financial profile, and they may be more likely to consider your application as a result. Okay, so working with a lender that considers uh, alternative data will, will not only improve your chances of getting approved for a personal loan, but it, it may also get you better terms. So this is kind of important. 
Step number three, I want you to be prepared. If you want to get a personal loan with no credit check, first, know your credit score. Second, you want to approach a bank or lender directly. And third, I want you to be prepared. You need to show your credit worthiness to a lender when asking for a loan without a credit check, right? Because think about it. You're asking them to, you, you're asking them not to check your credit. So you need to prove also that, you know, you are a good, uh, you are a good borrower, right? A potential borrower. Because at the end of the day, they're trying to protect, they're trying to cover their butt too. It's all about risk management. So having the documents and records you need to prove that you are financially stable and able to pay back new debt will help boost your chances of getting approved. And I'm going to show you, there are a few documents that you should have when talking to lenders. So you want to have tax returns for the past two to three years, employment history and pay stubs or other proof of, of a paycheck. You want to uh, have a nice uh, recap of your borrowing history. Here I'm, I'm referring to whether you have a home mortgage, auto loan, student loan, or other loan, and evidence that you have made progress paying them off. You want to uh, document your credit card debt, if applicable, bank statements, bank statements for the last two to three months, and if you have some kind of uh, academic records. So you want to tell the, the borrower, hey, listen, I'm, uh, I have a master's degree or I have a bachelor's degree. In other words, you know, I'm looking for work and uh, I do have some kind of uh, uh, educational uh, pedigree, if you will. Step number four is, so step number one, know your credit score. Number two, you want to approach a bank or lender directly. Number three, you want to be prepared. Number four, I want you to know the major no credit check loan providers. And there are three of them. And I want you to pay attention to this trifecta. First, you have the online lenders. And then you have the credit unions. And then you have the payday loan companies. Let's first talk about online lenders. Online lenders such as Prosper, Upstart, and Lending Club have options for people with scanned credit history. So while you may still need at least one or two accounts in your credit report, these lenders look at features of your financial profile beyond just your credit reports and scores when considering for a loan. So this is the kind of a alternative data I was speaking about earlier, alternative data. So those online lenders are great options for people who don't want, who want a personal loan with no credit check. Second part of this trifecta, the credit union. So if you are a member of a local credit union, you may be able to get a loan from them without a credit check. And the cool thing here is that a lot of people don't know this, but credit unions are non-for-profit companies. So every profit goes back to the members. And uh, credit unions are also known for offering loans with good terms and may be willing to consider information other than just your credit score when evaluating your credit worthiness. And credit union membership um, sometimes is based on um, affiliation, professional affiliation. So if you are a member of the of the army, if you are a member of the armed services, for example, you can go to the Navy Federal Credit Union. The membership can also be based on where you live or whether you or it could be based on your employer. So you want to contact your local credit union or your employer to see if you are eligible for membership. And the third tier in this trifecta is the payday loan companies. Now, payday loans are another option for getting a loan with no credit check. However, they're often uh, astronomically high APRs, annual percentage rates, often make them a last resort. For reference, a bank-issued personal loan obtained by a borrower with good credit might have an APR of, of around 7 to 10 percent. By comparison, the average payday loan has an APR of uh, 500 to uh, 400 to 500 percent. Please, folks, so please proceed cautiously. If your goal is to get a payday loan, please proceed cautiously. Payday loans also come with high fees and short repayment periods. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. We are still having a conversation about how to get a personal loan with no credit check. Step number five. You need to know the easy option. Actually, there are a couple of options. So the easiest loan to get with bad credit is a secured personal loan. And these loans minimize the lender's risk by having you use something valuable as collateral to back your loan. If you stop making payments, the lender can actually um, take legal possession of your collateral and sell it to recoup the money it lost. 
So when, when I'm referring, when I'm talking about uh, the easy options, the secure loan. So you have auto loan, home loan, title loan, pawn shop loan, and a payday loan. I've already spoke about payday loan. Now, payday loan, payday loans are also called cash advances. Okay. And pawn shop loans will now require a credit check for approval. Instead, you'll bring you'll bring in your valuables, and the shop offers you an emergency loan based on the value of those items. If you do not repay the loan on time, the shop keeps your items and adds them to their inventory. And title loan is a form of secured personal loan that uses your car's title as security. If you stop making payments, the direct lender can repo your vehicle and sell it, and you will lose all interest in the vehicle and your previous loan payments. These loans often have a high interest rate and a high origi origination fee as well. And what about, and step number six, I want you to understand the credit score needed for personal loans. Lenders do not publicize their minimum credit score requirements for loan approval. That's because they actually look at much more than your credit score when determining whether you qualify for a loan. Again, it's all about risk management, right? For example, someone may have very good credit but a lot of existing debt. If the lender thinks the applicant's current income will not cover the cost of another loan, that person's application likely won't qualify. On the other hand, someone may have bad credit but little debt. If that person's income is sufficient to cover the loan's monthly payments, a lender may approve the application with a higher interest rate or an origination fee. So aside from your credit score, a reputable lender will also look at uh, your income, your current debt, your employment history, and your payment history. Very important. One thing I want to say is that your current debts, your lender will look at how much money you pay every month for your current debt. And this can include uh, everything from credit card debt, including secured, card, secured credit card debt, rent, mortgage payments to payments for other loans and uh, lenders like to see some stability with applicants in terms of employment also and your payment history is also important and uh, bad credit lenders expect applicants to have some negative items on their credit history it's the date of those negative items that they look at the most so if you have recent late payments defaults or collections accounts you may struggle to find approval if your mistakes are a few years old and you've had a recent record of on-time payments, you may substantially increase your odds of approval. Step number seven, folks. I want, to, I want you to try to establish credit when you have no credit history. It is kind of critical to establish a credit history, especially if you plan to obtain any type of loans, such as mortgage or auto loan in the future. And finding a lender that will give you a loan without a credit check is a great option for getting your credit history off the ground, that's for sure. But make sure the, that the lender reports your accounts and payment history to one or all of the three major credit bureaus, and then you need to also pay all your bills on time. When I'm referring to all the three major credit bureaus, I'm referring to Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. And uh, th there are a couple of ways, there are a couple of things you can do to... Uh, build or rebuild your credit history you can apply for a secured credit card you can get a co-signer you can apply for something called a credit builder loan or you can apply for a secure loan all right now uh, applying for a secure credit card is, is a great way to uh, kick start your credit history and a credit cards are one of the best ways to establish and build or rebuild your credit and a secured card is specifically geared toward people with little or no credit. And with a secured card, you open an account with a cash deposit, and that deposit amount is your credit limit. And this creates less risk for the issuer, but allows you to use a credit card when necessary and build or rebuild your credit at the same time. And also getting a co-signer, finding, you just need to find someone with established credit to co-sign for a loan with you. And this is a great, this is a great way of getting a loan with little to no credit history. Co-signers apply for the loan with you and agree to assume the debt if you default. That means what? Very important. I want you to pay attention here. It means that if you miss the payment, your co-signer will be responsible for paying that amount. And co-signers help lenders feel more comfortable with taking on a risky borrower and are a common way people with little credit history can start building credit. Okay. And uh, you can also ask someone, you know, if, if you can't find a co-signer, you can ask someone with a credit card to add you as an authorized user. 
in this case you'll be issued a card under that person's account and a record of the card may show up in your credit report and think about applying for a credit build loan and uh, those loans are also pretty cool and um, so unlike conventional loans that give you cash up front to spend if you are approved this uh, credit builder loans put the amount you borrow usually between three hundred and one thousand dollars in a restricted savings account you then pay off the loan in installments like monthly payments and the lender reports your payments to the three major credit bureaus to help you establish a credit history so after you finish paying off the loan you'll get the full amount you paid back Step number eight, I want you to know the best no credit check personal loans, very important. And, and there are a few of them there. And the thing here is that online lending networks gives you, uh, they give you the advantage no bank or credit union can match. You can submit a single loan request to each network that is forwarded to every lender that partners with uh, the network. That means that you are applying to several lenders at once with no harm to your credit score. And some of the lenders on uh, each network will accept loan applications without a credit check and others may require a credit check for approval but with your loan request you can get an idea of your approval odds without anyone accessing your credit reports this is pretty cool and the thing the good thing is if you qualify you will receive an email with loan offers just minutes after you apply yes just minutes after you apply and since the lenders are competing for your business you can expect strong offers with a good interest rate monthly payments and loan terms and let's just kind of review some of the lenders here so you have a money mutual and uh, with the money mutual you have uh, short-term loans up to 2500 this is an online marketplace of lenders the funds are available in as few as 24 hours and uh, the simple online form takes less than five minutes all right and they're but they're not available in New York or Connecticut you also have a cash USA and you have loans from uh, five hundred dollars to ten ten grand all credit types are accepted you can receive a loan decision in minutes and you get funds directly to your bank account and uh, you can use the loan for any purpose we kind of like that you have bills happen and uh, bills happen you have quick loans of up to five thousand dollars you submit one form to receive multiple options without harming your credit score and all credit ratings welcome to apply they do require a driver's license bank account and social security number and you can get your funds as soon as tomorrow bills happen and uh, another um, lender you might want to consider credit loan and here you have loans from $250 to $5,000 the cash is deposited directly into your account you get mo your money as soon as tomorrow and uh, bad credit is okay and uh, they have um, actually have served nearly a million customers for the last uh, 20 years so this is a great player also you want to you might want to consider and one thing I, I, I want to say is that with the credit loan they will even consider your application if you have a recent bankruptcy on your credit report but it will not accept your application if your bankruptcy case is still pending in court another player you want to consider is um, badcreditloans.com here you have loans uh, loans ranging from five hundred dollars to five thousand dollars and this is an experience provider that has been established for the last 20 years you can compare quotes from a network of lenders they have flexible credit requirements you have an easy online application and a five-minute approval and you get funding in as few as uh, 24 hours next we have personalloans.com here you have loan amounts that range from uh, five hundred dollars to thirty five thousand you heard that right thirty five thousand dollars and all credit types are welcome to apply they have lending partners in all 50 states loans can be used for anything you have a fast online approval and you can get a funding you can get your funding in as few as 24 hours this is pretty cool and we love the fact that personalloans.com has two separate networks of lenders one that deals specifically with bad credit loan applications and another that deals with consumers who have a good or excellent credit score that means your application will only go to lenders willing and ready to work with you okay and uh, we also have here uh, cashadvance.com and here you have a uh, loan amounts that range from 100 to 1000 dollars you have short-term loans with flexible credit requirements you can compare quotes from a network of lenders five minute approvals and 24-hour funding and minimum they want you to have a minimum monthly income of one thousand dollars and uh, current employment with 90 days on the job required one thing that's very important is, is that um, 
Cash Advance.com is one of the most flexible players out there. You can request a small loan from the lenders in the Cash Advance network that rarely require a credit check. That's because this payday loan options use your next paycheck as security to back the loan. So instead of making payments to satisfy your debt, the loan provider will require full repayment including interest in either 15 or 30 days. Now keep in mind that the high interest rate on this loan often reaches or exceed 4 to 500 percent, making them incredibly expensive. So this is something you just have to think about. And there is a reason why this network states that you should only use its services as a last resort option. And they've said it. They are saying it. They're not hiding it. It's one of those uh, networks. It's one of those loans that you can get if you really, really, really need the cash and you can't find uh, any loans elsewhere. All right, folks. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And I'm just going to quickly recap today's conversation. I was talking to you about how to get a personal loan with no credit check. Number one, know your credit score. Number two, I want you to approach a bank or lender directly. Number three, be prepared. Number four, you want to know major no credit check loan providers. Number five, know the easy options. Number six, understand the credit score needed for uh, personal loans. Number seven, try to establish credit when you have no credit history. And number eight, know the best no credit check personal loans. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. I will see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.